All right, that should be live. Is it live? Live? Oh, we're live? We're good. We're good. Well, guys, what do we have here? Yeah, we got things falling over. As I said, they're live. Things are going to happen unexpectedly. Almost like a, this situation has happened to Mr. Seth Rollins kind of unexpectedly. Guys, I don't know if you've been following along, but I'm just going to make it very, very clear, okay? There's one guy out there that has been doing the best he can, you know, just trying his best he can to be, you know, <laughs> whatever he wants to be out there in the WWE. I have no clue. Claiming architectures, claiming all these names that he's done throughout his entire career. And I have nothing to say, but he is a complete fraud. Ladies and gentlemen, I hate to bring the news to you this way, but you know what? It's just got to be done. The situation here with Edge and Seth has layers to it, ladies and gentlemen. And these layers have been put together uh, very, very carefully. And Mr. Seth Rollins out there talks about architectures, how uh, he designs his story and how he controls everything. I'm like, da, 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 hold up. No, you don't. See, for the longest time, guys, yours truly, the people's fan of the WWE, has been out here doing the best he can to promote and do the best he can as a fan, support fans, and support superstars. I've been there. One thing's for sure, somebody's been eavesdropping on a few things that, you know, I have to say, have accumulated over the past, has happened, transpired, a lot of things, and somebody out there has not been given a certain somebody credit for it. Now, I learned of this, and I said to myself, well, no, I am not taking that crap, ladies and gentlemen. I decided that I would get the people together. And we will find a solution to a common problem that has been going on in the WWE. And we've narrowed it down pretty much to a bullseye. I mean, there's a lot of people that let other people into the business and then they start doing their own thing and they start creating their own, I don't know, imaginary story. Like the Messiah and the whole right hand. Okay? With Raw as Rigster, the rig. You know something? If you guys actually go back and do some research on my common history, you will start to realize that this man here has created himself into a architectural, architectural fraud. And I've taken this fraudulent image that he has created of himself and, you know, presented it in front of the world without him even realizing it. And at this moment, he is at a, what do you call, crossroads. You see, everybody in the WWE doesn't like Seth Rollins. They would rather see him walk out the door. It's the truth. Nobody out in the WWE will deny that. 
You see on Raw we had some issues and what happened? Oh yeah. The rig got involved and had him shipped to SmackDown. Now he probably knew at that time that the rig was around and he thought he had gotten away. But no, ladies and gentlemen, there's a little thing called persuasion and perception and sometimes you got to manipulate that per perception to reveal the actual villain in the story. One thing's for sure, he has revealed himself clearly, not just to me, but the entire WWE Universe. Very, very clear about his fraudulent image. The thing is, I'm having difficulty finding a part in my heart as a human being to find that, that forgiveness. But you know something, ladies and gentlemen, there's always been these two images in my head that say, no, the forgiveness is not gonna happen. And you know, the crossroads here, Seth, what's happening with Edge, What's happening was a lot of things going on backstage in the WWE. Brands, people changing, companies. Um, how would you like it if I gave you a little tip? That I have you covered on all grounds. Which means we know what you're up to, we know what you're doing before you're going to do it. And when I see this coming from you, I see it clear, the vision, okay? I put that big wedge in your plans, which is why I'm called the Rigster. Put all the ingredients together and then stir the pot. And, you know, for the last year, I have to say, you've been kind of swimming in that pot, haven't you? Not knowing what's been going on, who's working with me, who's talking to me. You have no idea who even the powers that be are. Well, that'll never be clarified with you unless they reveal themselves themselves but I will set you at rest that's you know something in my view your career is done and you can take whatever businesses you have right now and just walk away. Or you can take this stipulation. If you lose at SummerSlam against Edge, you're fired. Plain and simple. If you purposely ram Edge's neck your fight now who's laughing now jackass <laughs>